What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today, ooh girl, today, okay, today. <laughs> Today, we are trying out the crazy brow stamp that I've seen a lot of YouTubers and beauty gurus review over the last few months, but here's the catch. All of them had brow hair, and this bitch has zero brow hair, so I think I am, now if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I have not researched this, but from all the reviews that I've seen, I am the first person without any brow hair to try out the infamous brow stamp. Now, of course, there are several brands that make these, and I found mine on Amazon. It is from a brand uh, called Kiss, and it's called I N V, and it looks something like this. Um, I got it from Amazon for $11.85. Why 85, girl? Why not just a flat 12, okay? But um, this came on Amazon Prime and I got it in one day. And here's the funny thing, is this has been sitting in my house for like three months probably? So many products keep coming out, I really like can't keep up and it's like, oh my god. Um, so I'm finally getting around to trying this and so many people have used it lately. I'm like, girl, it's time. So if you want to see me try this crazy brow stamp, then keep on watching. All right, so this comes in a crazy plastic Thing that um, these nails are not going to open. So uh, let's get some scissors and cut into this thing. Girl. Oh! Okay, so, oh my god, I did not see that when I got, like I didn't see this with the packaging, but it comes with a right and a left brow stamp. <laughs> And it looks something like this. So obviously you do not get to choose the shape of your brow. This is the shape that the company has chosen for us all. Um, wow. I mean, that's not a bad shape for my eye. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see if it works though, right? Let's read the instructions that I just butchered. All right, simply stamp your favorite eyebrows evenly, no mess, no fail. Quick and easy brow application. Whether you have light brows or have lost your brows due to over tweezing or alopecia, the eyebrow stamp pre-shaped left and right will create the perfect natural looking eyebrow in a few seconds that will last all day. All right, so it says be sure that your skin above your eye is dry and clean. Of course, I have foundation on and a little bit of highlighter, but my skin is clean. It says pat on the pressed powder with the stamp. You just gotta position it, stamp it on against the skin and press. Touch up if needed. It says on the little picture here. Okay, so this does come with um, two brow stamps. They pop out like this, so of course you can put them back easy, which I think is kind of cool. And of course the brows look like this. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> This is going to be interesting. I've never even tried a brow stamp before. You know, I've shaved my eyebrows off since 10th grade and I always get asked like, do you use brow stencils or I honestly just freehand them on every single day. Of course, recently and you know, several years ago, I did no brows for like a year. I'm kind of getting into the fun phase of using highlighters for brows and other stuff like that, but I always freehand them on. So this is gonna be interesting. Now the powder is in this thing. It just says brow stamp in shade dark brown. It was the only shade that I saw on Amazon. Yeah, it says that it is made in Korea. Interesting, okay. And it says the company is from Port Washington, New York. And that's it. I think we should get started, you guys. I was expecting a mirror right here. Not gonna lie, I was definitely expecting a mirror. I'm like, okay, you can use this and just bam. Nope, no mirror. I'm interested to see if this is like a powder or a cream type of thing. It says it's like a powder, so I'm just gonna take my finger, you guys, and just touch the outside. Oh, it almost feels like a, oh wow, come on, pigment. It almost feels like a, um, not wet powder, but like a, you know, almost like it feels a little cooling or like, not powder, obviously you guys see no fallout, and Okay, I mean, oh, it actually like, stuck to my finger because it's supposed to be permanent, right? I mean, okay, I mean, not in a bad way, but like, oh, this is gonna work. Okay, let me wipe this off of my body and we're gonna get started. All right, so I have the right brow in my hand. So I'm going to take the brow and of course it's clean. I am going to press it down firmly. Now you see how it's squishy. Let's get the product all over it. Oh, wow. So you're gonna have to like drag it around for a second. Oh, now we got some fallout, girl. All right, so the applicator is completely covered now. See that? Fully opaque. Here is what it looked like before the powder. 
make sure it is completely coated, and don't play games. I'm just gonna take a large mirror over here, and oh my god, I'm like nervous. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna like put this mirror back a little bit, you guys. I have to like guess like where this is going. This is like scary territory. It's like, do we want it high? Do we want it low? I think that's probably a good length. So let me line it up with my tear duct, and oh my god, I just did it way too high, you guys. Woo! The end had some powder fallout, so that is why it looks like this on the end. Lord. Okay, let me wipe off this excess powder before it stains my skin. That's a high brow. That is a high mother effing brow. I'm going to dip this in one more time on here. It says that you can touch it up. I'm scared to like put this on one more time, but I'm gonna try to match it up perfectly. Oh my God. Sorry, you guys, if I'm blocking, it's scary. Okay, it's a little darker. I mean, that is a high brow. You'd have to get like 10 facelifts up to God to even get this high of a brow. <laughs> okay, we gotta try the other side. <laughs> I am still gagging over how high I put that brow. Hey, fuck it, right? Okay, so that was the right brow. Now, we're going to do the left brow, which you can see is blank with no product, and let's go in again. Maybe I won't stamp as hard, because I have that like residue at the end. I'm like, fuck me. Let's aim a little lower this time, thank you. I'm gonna have two really fucked up brows. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh my god. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god. Well, I definitely have some commas. Why does this one look like almost a different shape, but they're not? They're like identical, but um, I hate the shape of these brows. I'm gonna admit it. I fucking hate the shape. I am not down for this natural look. This is not natural. <laughs> this is not natural at all. I'm gonna try right near that one and just see what happens. That, this shape is horrifying, you guys. I just wanna put that out there. In case you're at home watching and you didn't know, I'm not down for the shape. I think we should also get to the real, real review of talking about the product. I think that the powder is, I mean, it says it's designed for people with also no hair. So I expected the powder to be a little bit more opaque. It says touch up if needed. I would literally have to go in with like a brush. Let's just use this pencil brush here. And I would have to like paint on more coverage, right? Which is not looking that great when I even did that. I'm like, ooh, girl, this shit is rough. I mean, the memes and the screenshots that I am about to receive right now, I'm scared. Okay, let's just see what happens if we do one more. Now, my real brow probably would have been like that. Oh my god, why does the arch do that? And the plastic, you guys, just went in my skin right here with powder. I'm not down. I am not into this. I honestly think that if you already have a brow, this could help you quickly, like, do a fill-in. But if you are someone like me, I don't know about this, I don't fucking know. Let's leave aside just for a laugh. We're, we're already fucked up my makeup this far in. Oh, where was the coverage on this? Where was the fucking powder? You have to like really go in, 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 in. like you have to beat up this compact. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna go take a hit and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, now thank you so much for watching my Halloween tutorial on how to be a cat. <laughs> if this is not the final look, I don't know what it is. I'm ready for the runway. Shantae, you stay, honey. This is what's going on right now in my life. And the brow stamp is not Jeffree Star approved. I hate it. I think the formula of the powder is weird. It's bizarre. It is not fully opaque. It's very weird and long lasting. It just came off my fucking cheeks, girl. That kind of, I almost look like a tarantula, a sp like spider legs or like, it's almost like a spider sat on my face. <laughs> Do spiders have vaginas? I'm gonna have to Google that later. Hope you've enjoyed me degrading myself for everyone. Yay! <laughs> and um, I'm not down. I really do not like this product. I definitely think, and I'm gonna sound like a broken record, if you already have brow hair, this could be a quick, easy moment for you. If you're someone that hates filling in your brows, you could easily like stamp this over. For me, not it this is not the one the double brow effect though is almost like an optical illusion like am I, are you guys watching me in 3d Ooh. okay you're not and you know that all right i'm babbling this is time to end all right you guys 
I'll see you on the next video. Mwah. <laughs>